Congresswoman, always good to have you. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much, Neil. Great to be with you. So what do you think? I mean, there might be a temptation on the part of the president, fully cognizant of this crucial vote in the Senate tomorrow, um, to mention that and, and, to, and to say something about it. Do you think he should? I think that, that the president has got an unbelievable record that we're going to be running on in November. I think you're going to hear him talk about record low unemployment figures you've discussed so often. You're going to hear him talk about the record number of Americans who are working. Uh, the American people know that this president has created a kind of prosperity in this country uh, that, frankly, is going to be threatened if the Democrats, uh, you know, uh, manage to be successful next November. So I think uh, we've got a very strong record to run on, and uh, I would imagine you're going to hear the president talk a lot about that and about what he's going to do uh, in his second term. You know, um, I was discussing with the prior guest, Congresswoman, this notion that uh, having discussions with some Democrats in Iowa when I was there, that they're going to target, some call them wedge issues, they're bigger than that, but they're, they're, they're going to talk entitlements, they're going to talk um, health care, they're, they're going to address issues like that, that they argue, particularly health care, that won them back to House, and that that will be the strategy. Uh, what do you think of that? You know, I think what the Democrats have shown us, uh, frankly, over the course of the last year now that uh, Speaker Pelosi's been in charge, is that they simply can't be trusted. You can't trust them when it comes to uh, upholding their oath of office to the Constitution. You can't trust them when it comes to national security. You certainly can't trust them when it comes to the economy. Uh, they've absolutely embraced socialism. Uh, we've watched them enable anti-Semitism. Uh, and when you look at what's happened over the course of the last several months here with the impeachment process, uh, think about the fact that the Intelligence Committee, Neil, has been completely consumed with this impeachment effort, uh, which was completely partisan, which uh, ended in the president being impeached with no direct evidence, while the nation is under significant and crucial threats. And I think that the American people are watching all of this. I think they're tired of it. Uh, I think they see that uh, President Trump and the Republicans in Congress, frankly, are there to deliver, and we will deliver on the policies that we know make this nation stronger, make our economy more prosperous, and, and bring jobs back for folks. You know, there have been so many changes in Washington, not the least of which since the president's election, it has become the president's party. Uh, and I'm, I'm wondering what you make of that progression and, and how the rest of the party now feels overwhelmingly supporting his efforts. Well, look, uh, I think results talk, Neil, and I think that when you look at uh, across the board, whether you're talking about the kind of deregulation that's been so important for my state of Wyoming, uh, whether you're talking about the tax cuts, whether you're talking about the tremendous job growth, whether you're talking about uh, this president's commitment and, and dedication to rebuilding our military and devoting the resources to doing that. Uh, the president's success at taking out the world's deadliest terrorist. Across the board, you've seen success after success. And, uh, you know, I think the Democrats can talk all they want about being for the people, but what we know is that their policies would give power to the government. And that when people elect them and send them to Washington, no matter what they say back home, they are the party of Nancy Pelosi. They are the party of the far left socialists in this chamber. Uh, and uh, they're going to be proposing and pushing forward policies that are really damaging and dangerous for the country. We'll watch it closely. I know you have to get in there and sit down. Uh, Congressman, we do appreciate you taking the time. Thanks so much. Great to be with you, Neil. Thank All you. All right. In the